Imagine the ghostly whisper of stealth rotors cutting through the night like a shadow assassin, a low observable predator vanishing from radars to scout and strike deep in enemy territory with silent lethality. Or could this revolutionary scout, the Boeing Sikorsky RAH-66 Comanche, have forever remained grounded by budget blades and shifting wars, its untapped potential a haunting what-if in 2025's drone-dominated skies, where hypersonics outpace its stealthy dash? Buckle up, aviation adrenaline junkies, because on Defense Digest, we're stealthing into the cancelled legend of the RAH-66 Comanche, the U.S. Army's ambitious armed reconnaissance helicopter that promised to redefine light attack ops in the 1990s and grip every riveting detail till the edge-of-your-seat finale uncovers the lessons that shaped modern rotors. Pound that like if this stealth chopper stealth your soul. Subscribe and smash the bell for more sky-shrouded sagas and drop a comment below. What's your ultimate rotor revival? Comanche versus Apache? And could it outstealth the hypersonic horde? Conceived in the 1980s amid Cold War fears to replace aging scouts like the OH-58 Kiowa, the RAH-66 took its maiden flight on January 4, 1996 as a tandem-seat stealth marvel stretching 43 feet long with a 39-foot rotor diameter and 11-foot height, heaving a 17,175-pound max takeoff weight. Powered by two T-800 LHT-801 turboshaft engines, each belting 1,563 horsepower, delivering raw power that hauled it to a top speed of 172 knots or 198 miles per hour, a combat radius of 278 nautical miles extendable with auxiliary tanks, and a ceiling of 14,980 feet, all at a projected unit cost of $58 million by 2004 making it a high-tech gamble compared to cheaper rivals like the $20 million Kiowa. Armed with a retractable 20mm turret cannon firing 500 rounds, up to 14 Hellfires or Stingers in internal bays for radar-evading strikes, an advanced MMW radar plus FLIR for all-weather scouting, the Comanche boasted composite stealth materials reducing its signature to 1 360th of an Apache fly-by-wire controls, and helmet-mounted displays for pilot synergy, designed for armed recon, light attack, and escort in contested zones. Picture it in potential, hovering undetected over Iraqi deserts in simulated desert storm ops or scouting Taliban caves, yet the program crashed in 2004 after $7 billion spent on two prototypes, cancelled for ballooning costs and post-9-11 shifts to counterinsurgency its tech legacy influencing the F-35 and future drones like the cancelled Farah program. But as this Comanche ghost fades into archives, laden with unspoken missiles and veil innovations, the heart-racing suspense builds. What archive tech could revive it next? And in urban skies teeming with threats, will hypersonic adaptations resurrect its rotor or bury its dream? Don't stealth away now, devour every shadowy beat, like if this hooked your hovers, comment your Comanche comeback theories to stir the storm, share with your squadron for the buzz, and subscribe to Defense Digest for non-stop nosedives into the rotors that rule the realm, because the next stealth savior could Comanche strike any time. Stay vigilant, Sky Slayers.